I wish I had this when I was pregnant with my daughter nine years ago. But you know, things never happen the way you want them to. Hi guys, for today's video, I am making a bump oil. This recipe was made in mind for moms that are expecting or gonna start on the postpartum journey. But before I continue with this video, Amazon has decided to do a second annual Amazon Prime Day. This is the perfect time for you to buy items that you need to formulate or just to create DIY projects for your friends and family. I made a video of 10 Amazon items that you can use to start your soap making journey. I definitely saw some of these items on sale. So this is your chance to get a great price on those items. Also, if you wanna start your Christmas shopping early, I definitely recommend you start looking and separate your purchases in sections so it's not too overwhelming and too pricey. Just keep in mind that you need to be a Prime member to shop those deals. So I know that they have a free trial going on right now. So if you don't want to be an Amazon Prime member, just do the free trial and cancel. I mean, that's just a tip that I have. I am a Prime member. I shop from Amazon all the time. Like I cannot live without Amazon Prime because time is money. And honestly, if you're a parent like me, sometimes you just got to order from Amazon because you're not gonna have time to go buy in each store. But definitely look into those sales, definitely purchase your items ahead of time so they don't sell out and you can purchase them. Now let's get to the video. Today I am using a vegetable extract. This vegetable extract comes from this plant that is grown in Chile, but for the past couple of years, it has become so popular in Brazil in Portuguese, we call it Rosa Mosqueta, which I translated to Rose Mosqueta, which is equivalent to rose hip oil. I have done some research and when I put it on Google, it translates to rose hip oil. But I'm not 100% sure if it is the same thing. But I went to Brazil in the summer and I was able to go to a craft store there, which was amazing. They had so many beautiful things and so many fragrance, so many essential oils. I went crazy, but I was able to bring some of the stuff here because the airport doesn't allow you to bring more than 100 mLs in your luggage. So I was able to bring some Rosa Mosqueda extract. And today I am going to infuse this extract into this body oil. Since this extract is not oil based, I am going to have to find a way to blend this extract to the oil the best way that I can. So I came up with a two to one ratio. So I'm gonna put eight grams of rose mosqueta extract with 16 grams of vegetable glycerin. And I'm gonna blend them together, mix them together and I am going to put this in a water bath so they can blend and infuse with each other. Now we're going to start phase B for this recipe. Today I'm using 20 ml of jojoba oil, 100 ml of fractionated coconut oil, 100 ml of sweet almond oil, and 60 ml of pumpkin seed oil. I am making a 360 ml batch. Unfortunately, I made a mistake while I was filming. I filmed when I thought I wasn't filming and then when I thought I was filming, it didn't film. So I got the footage that was the best and I'll explain to you and I'll also leave the recipe down below. So once phase A and phase B were completed, I took both of them into a water bath and I waited until they were about the same temperature. As you can see here, I just removed from the water bath and I am mixing. That's the only footage that I have, I'm so sorry. Then I went ahead and just pour a little bit of the body oil into a small beaker and I am going to start adding some vitamin E. Make sure it's under 100 uh, Celsius before you start adding essential oils and your vitamin E. I added about six ml of vitamin E. As you can see here, I am using this small scale that I just purchased from Amazon. And once I was done pouring the vitamin E, I went ahead 
and started pouring my essential oils. Today I'm using lavender essential oil. I buy it in bulk, so that's why you see a big aluminum container. And I added chamomile essential oil. I spoke to my peers and that's what they requested, a lavender body oil. Also, once I added all the vitamin E and the essential oils, I went ahead, I mixed a small beaker and I also added to my body oil, which has already cooled down under 100 Celsius. I am using a glass amber bottle. It's only two ounces. And I am adding lavender buds inside just to infuse with the body oil. And also it gives a nice aesthetic look. Then I went ahead and I poured the body oil into the dropper bottle. And of course, I made cute labels for this body oil. As you can see, I added uh, little images of women holding their belly. And if you want to secure your label, you can go ahead and just place a piece of tape over so the oil doesn't damage the label. If you have waterproof label, that's even better, but I don't at the moment. So for me, that is the best way that I can secure the label. I went ahead and poured the rest of my body oil into the other containers that I had separated. I am giving this body oil as a gift for my friends and I am so excited that I was able to formulate and use this special rose mosqueta extract. Rose mosqueta is known to help with stretch marks, to help with scars, also to help with skin hyperpigmentation. So this oil is great. If when you're pregnant and you get discoloration on your face or on parts of, of your body. I remember when I was pregnant, I had like dark, a dark string here. My armpits were dark. And honestly, if I had this oil back then, maybe I wouldn't, you wouldn't be so dark. And also probably help me prevent all the stretch marks that I earned during my pregnancy. And honestly, if you do have stretch marks and you get them while you're pregnant, just embrace them because you created a life and that life is your life and you're going to love that baby. And honestly, at the end of the day, as long as they're healthy, you're healthy. The skin is our largest organ in the body and it stretches and it just happens. Also, if you want to use this body oil and you already had your kids, and you want to use it on your stretch marks. My stretch marks are over nine years old and I have been trying the oil and I can definitely see a big difference. My stretch marks are smaller. The feel, the elevation on the skin is definitely smoother and more flat. So you can definitely use this body oil for your C-section scar if you had one or any scars that you have in your body for previous surgeries or just scars from other things of course i was just so excited to share this recipe with you guys if you know anyone that is expecting or just had a baby recently make sure you tag them or just share this video maybe this is helpful for them and let me know what you guys think in the comment box below um thank you so much for watching I cannot wait to see you guys again and make sure you get your Amazon Prime deals guys I'm telling you you need to get the deals ASAP and get those Christmas shopping out of the way